My birth mom passed away of a massive heart attack when I was 19. Rowena Dagley always suspected high cholesterol ran in her family. She just didn't know how bad. So I've been on medication since early 30s. And uh, at 36 is, um, is when everything kind of changed. Rowena just thought she had high cholesterol. Instead, she was diagnosed with hypercholesterolemia, a deadly disease that changed her life forever. I was 36 when I almost had my heart attack. So that's scary for me. She, like many people, had never heard of the disease before. That is until she was diagnosed at a specialist clinic in Vancouver. Now researchers at the same hospital have begun doing genetic testing on patients like Rowena to try and identify their level of risk for heart disease, as well as that of their family members. We also know that genetics can give additional information beyond um, just the clinical characteristics like the cholesterol levels that can help us to be more precise in terms of understanding an individual patient's level of risk uh, and then hopefully targeting them with an appropriate therapy. One in 250 people in Canada are affected with FH, but only 10% of those have so far been identified. Rowena is one of the few to come forward and shed light on this life-threatening condition, which she believes is still massively misunderstood. Oh, just eat better and exercise. That's what people think with heart disease and high cholesterol. But mine's not elevated. People with this disease have their way up here, right? So that's why we need to get this this out there that about testing and things. So when we see somebody like Rowena, we try to contact all of her children and her brothers and sisters and even her parents to make sure they have been tested because they will each have a 50-50 chance of having the same inherited high cholesterol. Rowena nevertheless remains positive and hopes that through better education, more people can be helped. With all the research and these forums and, and having, getting the awareness out there and erasing the stigma behind high cholesterol or heart disease and just get people educated, I feel that that is um, the number one. Tom Walsh, City News, Vancouver.